Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're going to connect up some more goods, uh, more of these goods resources at our cargo hub here to a few more of our cities, as we do have a few cities that still need goods that are attached to our network here. So I believe we already have goods going to Arlington and Durham. I think the only one that's not connected to goods right now is Toledo, as Mesquite doesn't need any, and I don't think we're really connected anywhere else. So let's just double check over here in Arlington and make sure that we are having goods sent here if we can find the train yes yeah, so it is shipping some goods and that's exactly what we want and so all we need to do is get goods being sent over to toledo goods is the second most needed resource all the way up in toledo so i think Prioritizing that for that city is probably most important for whatever train we end up rebuilding. So here's the train that we have running now. It's important to take note of what it's not using to its full abilities so that we can adjust for later as we come in and reuse this vehicle. Let's pause so we can keep an eye on these numbers. And we'll come in and we'll find an engine that works for us. So here's the engine that I think we're gonna go with, the Russian class CHS-4. It's our most powerful train, uh, pretty recent and fastest. So quickly looking at here, all of our most recent trains, this one's definitely the most powerful one at the moment. And all we have to do is come in and add some cars to it. So if we look here, we're not shipping that many, that much fuel, only 36 out of 54. So we probably only really need maybe three tank cars right now. Maybe we'll add one more just so that in the future it'll work out for us. And now what we need most is boxcars because boxcars carry goods and food. So we'll just want to add in a couple of boxcars, make sure that it covers pretty much everything that we need. And I think eight of these will probably cover just about everything we need in terms of that. And then only a few flat cars. As we can see, we're only carrying 17 out of 90 construction materials. So I think we'll go with three flat cars. So this is going to be our train. We can see it's going to run pretty well. And let's see how it does. So there's, because there's no electric path. And I think that does make sense as we don't have electric on this line for some reason. All right, well, I'm going to upgrade these tracks to make them electrified. And then we'll come back when we replace the train. All right, so now that we have our train or our track electrified, we can come in and replace these trains. So there it goes, and I think we'll need to manage the line so that it will now take goods. I just want to make sure in this line we make sure we're not loading anything that we don't need. So we need construction materials, fuel, we don't need tools. 
and we need food and goods. So that's all good. That should all be sorted out. And then over in Toledo, it should only be unloading construction materials, fuel, food, and goods. So now we'll need to set up the road, the truck station here. So it has a platform for goods. And then we'll want to make sure we can deliver all of the goods we need to in this area of town. So now we can buy some more trucks and it looks like we've unlocked quite a few new ones. These seem to be much better than the ones we had before. So we will buy a couple of these. I think maybe five of them. And we'll have a new line running from there over to the section with goods. We'll just want to make sure we have everything set correctly. And everything looks good. So now hopefully in the next couple of trips we'll start to see goods trickling in on this line. Let's see if we can find the next one that left. This one does not appear to have any goods yet, but I'm sure it'll get there soon enough. Okay, and just to verify that what we connected up works, we can see over here at the goods factory, it sees Toledo as a consumer. So this will start to slowly increase its production as it starts producing goods for Toledo. So now what I wanna do for the last bit of this episode is I wanna make sure and go through all of these lines. Since we have every resource here, we should be able to ship all four resources to each city. So I wanna to go to each city that we're currently connected to and make sure that the train or the boat we have going to those cities is able to carry all of those goods that the city needs. So I believe the first one we set up, the one up to Durham, we sorted this out and it should be getting all four resources as it's connected up here. If we take a look at this train, this is almost a full train worth of resources. So this is operating as well as we'll ever need it. And we can see the city population here is exploding. It has a target population of almost 2,500 and it's still only at 2,200 population. So Durham definitely has tons of room to grow still. And then looking at our next line, which is actually the one we just set up, our new Toledo line, where we replace the train, this one we know has all four resources going to it, or should have all four resources going to it. Let's see if this train is carrying goods yet. It is not, but we know that it does have the capability and it is set up to send all of the resources to Toledo. Now the next line I want to look at, the one going up to Arlington, which is only carrying three resources. And I think the only one we're missing here is for machines. As this train isn't set up to carry machines quite yet. I think we're going to wait on that. Any city that has machines. Just until we can get quicker, more consistent machines deliveries. Which... Some of these boats are carrying loads of machines and that's great to see, but it is still very infrequent on when they come and it's not always a full trip. So I think I maybe wanna increase production down here at the machines factory before we start really upgrading 
our lines to ship machines. So quickly, just to sort of maybe put a quick production increase in this machines line, it looks like we are being held up by coal. And if we come over here, we can see not all the coal is getting transported. So I think we're just going to come in and upgrade all of these vehicles. We have these dump trucks that are a huge upgrade from what we had before. So we'll just simply replace all those and that should be more than enough for this coal mine. And hopefully that'll uh, sort of show up in results later on down the line. So then the next line we need to look at is our train line going into Clearwater, which this one also needs machines, although it is carrying the other three resources. And I believe it's doing it quite well as Clearwater is huge. I believe it's grown a ton more since we've last really looked at it. We can see all these roads are finally sort of filled in and it's even starting to grow over here. It has reached its target population, but I think once we get machines coming here, we can get this city much bigger. And then the same thing applies here to Mesquite, where it also needs machines. So I think what our priority is going to be coming up is getting maybe another machines factory up and running one that we can also have sending machines over to the cargo hub and it doesn't seem like we have one very close to here so it's going to be another long distance line but i think when we have both of those up and running we can definitely get machines running out of here so we do actually have a machines factory right here, just outside of Clearwater. We also have another one here in Alexandria. So this will be something that we'll work on. This area of the map is pretty busy, so this might involve a fair amount of planes. I don't know how many trains we'll be using for this line. So we might be flying in resources like the uh, planks and the steel but i think we can find smaller chains around the map like over here we can definitely get this steel mill up and running and i'm sure there's somewhere around where we can get a pretty good uh route for plank set up such as out here and then we'll just simply have to fly both of those resources in to the machines factory and then i think we'll probably bring it in by train to the cargo hub or maybe even by road, because that's not a terrible drive and our new trucks are very good. So maybe we get a highway that sort of comes through this valley and connects up maybe across the river here. But that's something we'll explore in the next few episodes. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any feedback or suggestions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.